Hey guys and welcome to NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. I am John and this was something that I hinted at doing before and several of you seemed excited about it so we're going to check it out here. This game is basically the equivalent of NASCAR Heat 2. It was made by Infogrames just like NASCAR Heat 1 or <laughs> NASCAR Heat I should say. Uh, and actually there are some references in this game that say NASCAR Heat 2 which they didn't I guess fix but um, anyway it is Dirt to Daytona. And um, we're going to be doing a career mode of it, but just to get things started, introduction here, and to get myself reacclimated to the controls and stuff, we're just going to do a single race. Um, in this series, you have the weekly racing series, which is on dirt. You have the modifieds, truck, and cup, and you work your way up through the ranks. Uh, you'll see that uh, I have accomplished some things in this, but we will be starting fresh uh, when uh, we start career mode. Alright, so I'm going to jump in here as Alan Anderson, sure, and I eh, I don't really remember what tracks were good for me or bad for me or whatever, but uh, let's just go to Hastings, I guess, and um, let's just go with, of the five options, let's just go with Veteran right in the middle, and yeah, let's do that. Alright, we're going to skip qualifying and go right to starting last in Heat 2, but basically you have the ability to practice and qualify. That sets your order for the Heat. If you don't make it to the A main from the Heat, you go to the B main and try to make it from there. So let's see if we can do this. Let's see if I even remember how to do this. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Alright. Oh, all right. Let's let's just be care be careful here. I don't think the high side is exactly the place to be, so we're gonna try to get to the bottom. But yeah, the the physics in this game are actually really good as far as how the dirt feels. You get down on the the inside there, you're gonna spin out. I almost did. Just clip. Uh, I guess you'd say it's like the apron, but it's it's grass, but it will spin you out. So you want to try to stay off of that. Preferably you'd want to try to run right in the middle, but if you're going to try to make passes or protect your position, the bottom is usually the place to be. We'll try We'll try going up high a little bit. It is helping me get a good uh, run off out of the uh, out of the turn, so that's that's good. Oh, oh, I've got into somebody. Ah! It is so easy to spin people out, especially on the dirt. Alright, so we, we are in the transfer section. Uh, I think it's the top five will get you into the A main without having to do the B main. And so we are third. I'd be pretty happy with that. Now bear in mind that when we start our career mode, we're not going to have a car that is this good. Uh, this guy's obviously established, has a better car than we'll have starting with nothing. And looks like we're going to be third. Nice. Sorry if I was too close to my mic there at first. I wasn't paying attention, but um, yeah, so pretty good, pretty good. I'll take that. And they have a full replay that you can watch, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, so yeah, we will be starting sixth in the A main. We do not have to go to the B main. That's cool. Let's go ahead and get right to it. There we are. Let's just try to make the most of this. Oh, a little contact right off the bat. But yeah, when I uh, when I played this game back in the day, and trust me, I played it a lot. Um, I got a little bit too engrossed in it all and started making up rivalries and stuff in my head and alliances that didn't exist. For example, uh, the red and white car up there, John Rafter, he was like my my nemesis. <laughs> it wasn't true, of course. The AI doesn't treat you any differently from one guy to the next, but for some reason I had problems that usually stemmed from him, so then sometimes I would go out of my way to wreck him. It was kind of silly, but fun. Alright, so... It's going to be nice and smooth. 
Okay, seven to go. Whoop. Careful. Let off the gas there a little bit. That actually worked out really well for me. You want to play with the throttle anyway, obviously, but I, I meant to say I let off going in, which I had been typically driving it in pretty hard, actually may not be benefiting me that well. More more gas, less brake, I think. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> less gas. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? Think, John. Oh, I know. Controlling your speed with the gas rather than the brake. That's what I'm trying to say. So letting off the gas instead of using the brake seems to be working better. Will I catch that guy though? Truett? I don't think so. Well, I say that and then I made a big gain on him right there. I feel like I'm really getting a feel for this car. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Best lap ever. Oh yeah, we're, we definitely gain on him in one and two, especially. Just don't want to get onto the the grass down there. That is not a good idea. All right, yeah, we're definitely making big gains on him in one and two. We're gonna need to use that to our advantage. Went into this last lap. Oh no, we made contact. I didn't mean to hit him. I swear take the lead at the white flag diamonds coming fast though I have to hold him off and we got it yeah all right well I didn't mean to to do that but it was a bump and run didn't spin him out just got him a little sideways and that was it we won the race so yeah, this video serves as just basically an introduction to Dirt to Daytona. And uh, hopefully uh, you're excited about seeing more of this. Um, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So what I'm going to go ahead and do before we end this video is get out of this mode and go to where we set up our career mode and get that all started. So let's go here. All right, so let's go ahead and start a new career. The road to the Winston Cup starts a long time before the Daytona 500 at the beginning of each season. Every driver you see on the Cup grid each Sunday has hundreds of hours of racing under their belt, and even the rookies have been driving for years. You're about to embark on your own quest for the Cup, but just like the real NASCAR drivers, you have to prove yourself many times before you're actually given a shot at participating in the big show. The life of a racer is a tough one. No one starts out winning each race. You'll need practice and money, a lot of money, before you'll be running with the leaders in each league. But don't let the difficult early races get you down. As you race, your skills will grow, as will your budget and the quality of your ride. Before you know it, you'll be running at the front of the pack, a real contender for the championship. We'll keep an eye on your progress here in the studio and hope to be reporting on your success real soon. Good luck, rookie. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Might as well put in my real birth date. Why not? Ironically, you cannot go past 1986. I do find that funny. Let's go ahead and do that. And, well, you almost got it right. Wait, I don't want caps on. Get out of here. Except. No H in my name. Get it right. Get it right. Alright. And. Here we go. Nickname. Um, well, it's just honest, honestly just John, but <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, let's see. <laughs> let's do something silly. Um, how about what I really feel about this place? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's also a catchy song. Uh, 
There we go. <laughs> While most NASCAR fans are yep. familiar with the top three NASCAR racing series, most are not aware that there are 13 different leagues under the NASCAR banner. As part of our extended NASCAR coverage, we're going to highlight some of the other NASCAR leagues. This week, we're going to talk about NASCAR's grassroots league, the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series. Since teams that run in this league are on very limited budgets, the races are short enough so that pit stops are not needed. In fact, many of the tracks in this series are so small, they don't even have an infield pit area. This also means few yellow flags. Probably the biggest difference between this league and the upper divisions are the way the race qualifying occurs. Instead of one or two qualification laps, heats are run. Each racer starts out and runs a normal qualification lap. Drivers are then ranked based on their time. All of the even drivers put into heat race one, the odd drivers in the second heat race, and so on. The top half of the field from both heat races advances to the A main race, while the bottom half finishers run the B main. Now, the B main is always run before the A because the top three finishers are allowed to start in the A main, generally at the back of the pack. Got it? For many rookie drivers, just making it to the A main will qualify the weekend as a success. So now let's see how things turn out here at the season opening race from the Dundas County Fairgrounds. Thanks, AB. All right, so what we have here is our main area for career mode. Uh, we have an almanac which will show you your finishes and all the series through the years and uh, news which you'll see like past results and such and they have like fun little articles that make it a little more realistic uh, employees which don't come into play for a while uh, your race calendar and you can save and then you can go into the garage now we're going to do that real quick uh, you have career options let's see I want to make sure that I have this set the way I want uh, normal wear um, do I want flags do I want flags I'm not gonna worry about that because we're not going to uh, um, be more you know in the cup leagues anytime soon uh, all leagues light damage short race medium race and veteran AI if I find that it's too easy I will change this um, but right now I want to go with medium length races and veteran AI that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna see what happens uh, driving aids I'll probably leave the stability on uh, breaking off yeah yeah that that seems good okay and the rest is I'm sure fine well it's still in 16 by 9 I, I presume yeah. Alright, uh, parts catalog we can buy upgrades, which I don't know that we can afford anything just yet, can we? Maybe. Um, no, not an engine. Uh, we could upgrade the suspension, but we'll lose rear grip. Um, could improve front down force lower drag improve rear down force uh, it makes you a little heavier but you control better hmm I think I want to save up and go for the engine first although this is pretty good let's see it's a slight improvement all the way around uh, what's the what's the engines improvement on horsepower and such 255 and we need 50 more bucks yeah I think I'm gonna wait and get the engine first just because speed is important all right so let's let's back out of this and we can go to the paint shop where we can pick out uh, what our car is gonna look like uh, I'm gonna fiddle with this for a few minutes and then I'll show you the finished product I think this is going to be it. So I kind of went for a kind of a uh, petty blue with some red flames, gold letters, and a white stripe running at the bottom. I think that looks pretty cool. So we're going to go with that. Uh -huh. 
Apply changes, yes. Awesome. So our car looks pretty cool. And so yeah, that's going to end this introduction episode of NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. In the next episode, we are going to be heading to our first race, uh, Dundas, I believe they said. Yep, Dundas County Fairgrounds. Be vying for $2,500, but trust me, it's not going to be as easy as that uh, test race that I did because I'm not going to have the same equipment that the rest of these guys have. Should be interesting, though. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed and you're looking forward to the rest, be sure to hammer that like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're new to join the Wolf Pack. And I'll see you next time for more. Bye.